you know every time when I upload a beautiful mod going along with some fantastic ROM for my S4 9505 I feel kinda also a little bit bad afterwards when these guys with the 9500 come and watch that video and they're like is there not something like this for for my you know for my 9500 <laughs> problem is that the hardware of the 9505 and the 9500 they are, they are not the same so today when I posted the video that you just saw about Oreo on the 9505 I also got a guy asking me uh, for the 9500 you know if there's nothing around for it so I thought, you know what, let me let, let, let me try to, because I cannot buy all these phones, okay? I, I must at a certain moment stop to buy phones. It becomes an addiction and I need to change that addiction into another addiction. So I thought, you know what, how about if I'm gonna look for ROMs and even mod and, 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 and make the ROMs in a way that I know that you like them, the way that I also like them, um, without actually having the phone, relying on the best developers out there. It's, it's a difficult thing to do, but of course I also have you to do the testings. You guys have that particular phone. So I found Alberto and Alberto is a developer that in fact is creating ROMs for the 9500 and he's using Lineage OS, he's creating Lineage OS ROMs and he's also updating them. So he has active development going on for these for these phones so when I went looking I saw and I was happy to see and all you 9500 users should also be 100% that the 9500 and all these other phones uh, that in fact are, are, are not supported by these other guys like GTC um, in fact are supported by him and he's actually updating and I, I downloaded the last uh, build and that was made on the 6th of July even though it's Nougat um, with a little bit of modding we can give this thing the Android P looks so what did I do I got the I got the ROM from Alberto, so he's the head developer of this ROM that you're gonna install on your 9500. And I modded it. I included the peps. It's a one-time flash. You don't have to flash no mod uh, like on the 9505, the previous video that you saw. This will be one flash, and then it should be okay. Reboot, and you should be running and up. And having the same looks that you saw in my previous video with one little difference you will be on nougat but is it a bad thing to be on nougat well probably your nougat version that you're gonna install the modded one um, will have newer and uh, 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 recent security patches so probably you're gonna be having patches up to June 2018 
because no, the thing was created on in July. So just think of it. This thing is brand new. So you will be better off uh, qua security with this room than with some uh, Oreo that has uh, security patches from let's say April this year. You will have newer security patches because in fact this guy is actually working and developing uh, rooms for the 9500. So let's start the procedure from the beginning. Let's say if you have a Samsung S4. Let me get one here. Where is it? Because this is in fact what you're gonna get. Let me let me show you what you're gonna get. Those that saw. Hello. This is what you're gonna get, but yours is gonna say 9500. Okay. And I think my battery is a little bit low. I'm not even sure, so let me. I cannot reach. So we'll have to do it without the battery charger. Hey, I never saw the. Probably the screen was too white out. But in fact, this is what you're gonna get. This is how it's gonna look when you're gonna set it up. I already showed it in the previous video, but now for the 9500, because you guys really, uh, yeah, you make me a little bit sad, eh? then I feel guilty. I'm a very sensitive guy. So when you start asking me for 9500 and I only have for 9505, then I feel like a little bit not happy. So that's why I'm making this video. So let's start from the start. Let's say if you have the official firmware from Samsung on this thing. How are you gonna start? I think um, you will have to unlock the bootloader and that sounds really uh, uh, difficult, but it's, it's in fact not on the Samsung device. It should not be that difficult. You're gonna just go to the settings in your, in your stock room. You're gonna go to system and you're gonna find the build number about the phone and then you look for the build number. You're gonna tap that build number until you see that you've enabled development, uh, developers options. Then you go one back and then you should find the developers options up there. Um, when tapping the developers options, find something like disable bootloader, um bootloader. See if you find something there that is saying disable um bootloader whenever you tap it it's gonna say oh you're sure you're gonna uh, just say yes okay and then you're gonna turn off the phone yeah you're gonna turn it off and then put it into a download mode do you know what's a download mode well a download mode is in fact uh, a mode that is being used whenever the phone is being uh, reinstalled so you will for all the volume down the power and the home button you turned it off and volume down home power <laughs> and that should bring you no i missed it there i'm sorry that will bring you in a download mode and whenever you're in a download mode you're going to connect it to a windows computer where you already installed the samsung usb drivers i, I think you should really learn about this if you have an old samsung phone because it's it's a procedure that that goes for many samsung and other phones out there but mostly for the samsung phones because you do it with Arden and Arden 3 point i think one or so you can use um you will have to point after you install the usb drivers and in Arden you also see that it's connected in a download mode to Arden you will then hit PDA and then look for the tar file yeah that I will include in 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 this complete package okay um, and then point to the tar file you can also download the tar file from the internet but I already did it for you so just point to it and then 
uh, it will install twerp for you after you hit that start all right the phone will then reboot just kick out the battery before it reboots okay so the phone is off put in the battery again and then hold the volume up home and the power and that will then bring you into the recovery mode of twerp twerp will then be there do a wipe data factory reset wipe data uh, system you know and of course you should make a backup of the things that you had on the phone you know but the best thing would be to to do a complete clean install so if you have a micro sd card it would be nice to also insert it in that phone make sure that before you're gonna do this all i was saying make sure that before you're gonna do this all you already copied these files that you need the the rom that you copy it to your micro sd card okay and of course the twerp that you copy it to your windows computer so you can you know so you will have to separate the files the rom will go on the internal sd card i think all these things you are not dealing with noobs but these are smart people you shouldn't have to explain it so good you are explaining way too good too good is not good it must be good but not too good so i'm gonna leave that part up to you so you kind of you know figure it out yourself so you need to flash twerp after you flash twerp immediately go into the recovery mode yeah i would do a complete wipe of the internal um, um, sd card meaning you're gonna select wipe data factory data catch system yeah internal uh, sd card whenever you're gonna select that complete raw then the internal sd card will be wiped so there will be no operating system anymore on the internal drive all these folders that you had on there samsung and i don't know what you all downloaded they will all be gone and you're gonna have a clean drive that's that's the, that's how i would do it if you know you would have some some phone some s4 running uh, some stock rom for many years already i would get rid of all that crap okay on the internal drive and then simply go to the installer in 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 um in twerp hit home and then install make sure that you select the external sd card otherwise you, you won't see the files you know so select the external sd card and then just scroll down and the rom should be there hit it install it and after it's installed of course you also want to root the phone otherwise you will not be able to use the firewall and etc so i'm gonna include a version of magisk uh, in 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 the in the zipped package so you can immediately then also make sure that that magisk is also on the external C, uh, sd card so you're gonna have magisk on the sd card and the rom you first flash the rom and then you flash magisk and then you reboot to the system okay if it's saying uh, would you like to install twerp app just say do not install all right because in fact the twerp is being created by alberto it's not officially by twerp me i think although it's it is on twerp me all good but it was by alberto so alberto is the king of of this phone uh i mean of the 9500 because in fact not many developers are working on that phone so you guys are kind of lucky to to have alberto really so alberto i don't have the phone but a thumbs up to you that you're doing that for the 9500 community and all these other phones that he's also supporting so you know what um this rom will be for the 9500 only okay but in the description you're also going to find some other models that alberto is also supporting and whenever you're going to go to 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 that uh, download site from alberto um you will also have to look at the name behind be, beside the, the 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 name of the 
9500, you're gonna see 9500 and then a code behind it. Remember the code of your phone. So when you're in that download folder, scroll all the way down because the ones on top are the old ones. You must go to all the way down to 2018 and find the latest uh, code that corresponds with your model of the 9500 or the S4. Okay, and then download that uh, particular um, ROM or wait until I will continue with all these models. So probably I'm gonna make these kinds of uh, reviews as well uh, of phones that I don't have and explain it the best I can to you so you can go ahead and install it. And if everything went right, after you boot it uh, back to the system, you're gonna see, of course, the Google boot animation, the Android 9 boot animation booting up, and you will have the Pixel Launcher to choose out of, I think, beside the Tribochet, because uh, I left the Tribochet in the official ROM, of, or it's not official, but it's official from Alberto, uh, but it's not official by Lineage OS, so it's in fact unofficial, official by Alberto official, but unofficial by Lineage OS, and it's Lineage OS. It's kind of confusing, don't worry too much about it. Alberto seems to uh, be really big in how he's, you know, showing it and bringing it to the users. So thumbs up uh, to Alberto, XDA developer as well. Um, yeah, good luck with with. Yeah, I will make some videos of, of these rooms and, and bring them to the people. So guys, go ahead and enjoy your uh, Nougat Android 9 ROM. It's not Android 9, it stays Nougat. But the coolest will be, of course, that you will also be able to download updates. So once in a while, go to your settings and check the update. Because from there, you will be able to download uh, the latest. Of course, remember that... Um, if you're gonna install the latest your boot animation from the pixel the Android P boot animation will then be replaced by the newer build of lineage OS that you you know updated to and uh, of course uh, you can then get to me so I can send you some uh, file where you can or maybe I will find the download link for you. I can't remember where it was, but I will I will find it. Trust me, and then you can flash it back, and you know, or just flash my mod um, on top of the new installation, uh, and and then you you're gonna be good to go. For those uh, that have problems with running the automatic setup of the update. Uh, meaning that if you go to uh, the settings and you're gonna look for updates and you you see the update and you tap it and you see that it's you know busy and then nothing happens um, just go with your phone or no even better use a computer go to the site download the update because the update will also be in that download uh, uh, basket of, of, of Alberto. And then transfer it to the SD card of your phone and, and do it manually. So I think I explained it the best I could and the best I can. And I really hope that the 9500 users will love this RAM. Okay, once again, it was developed by Alberto. The apps boot animation and including the P launcher was pushed into the room by me. Um, so yeah, only thing we can say is enjoy it, uh, love it. And if it's any good, go ahead and share it. And uh, yeah, be happy with it and enjoy your Samsung S4 9500. Thank you.